How's it going everyone? This is big. We just got news that BlackRock is going to be seeding their ETF with a hundred times what they were seeding it with before. I want to explain this. Also want to talk to you about a big country, one that is growing very quickly. It's not Argentina, it's not El Salvador, it's not the US, but a very uh, fast growing country that is changing the rules behind crypto to make it easier and easier for people to use it. And it's already been blowing up in this country. This could be pretty big. I, I'm not kidding. I'm not being hyperbolic. This is big news. And I only saw a couple people cover it yesterday. If you guys like this kind of thing, if you guys like these takes that are a little bit different than the mainstream, let me know in the comment section. Hit subscribe so I know to make future videos just like this. Of course, I'm going to do it no matter what because I love this stuff. Also, who doesn't love crypto, right? It's so much fun right now. Uh, we stuck through the bear market. We're here. We're ready to go. So when you're down there, hit that subscribe button. You can also check out the link to Marjax where you can trade cryptocurrency on leverage. It's one of the best exchanges out there. I'm working with them right now to do more advertising on more channels, get their name out there a bit more, uh, be able to have more guides and maybe even work with them behind the scenes so that way we can help them grow as well. Um, right now, they are, they are a boutique exchange, but they've had so many people sign up recently um, that they're growing quite quickly, but they still have great customer service. If you have any questions, you can go to these pages here, wallet, uh, settings, referral. There's a little chat box and you talk to someone within a minute, a real person. So definitely check out that link underneath the video. You get a deposit bonus as well that you can pay towards some fees. There's also a link there to Blowfin where they're another great exchange. Um, they have a day and a half left on our trading contest you can go trade there i already know some people are like dead bang locks to win some prizes um but there are still a lot of prizes up for grabs you can go check that out underneath the video now crypto is doing well bitcoin's still in the same range ethereum's down a little bit since it was at 2350 yesterday or something like that but we're still looking good it's going to be quiet probably over the next few days in terms of price action because there's not a lot of volume from big players when we're going into the holidays but we did get some pretty nice news so of course, this is confirmed now that the SEC is gonna approve the Bitcoin ETF. Jim Cramer says the SEC will never approve a spot Bitcoin ETF. This is as of yesterday. Now, to be clear, this isn't real. Uh, they've been doing this more and more often where people just joke. Jim Cramer never tweeted this as far as I could find. So it's just kind of funny. Obviously, Jim uh, is kind of a meme at this point, but let's move on to the real news. BlackRock is seeding their Bitcoin ETF with $10 million in cash on January the 3rd. 2024, just days before the SEC expect, is expected to give approval. We've been covering so much of this ETF saga. It seems like everything is lined up perfectly, but before we knew that they were seeding, they said that they were going to basically start seeding, even when the ETF wasn't as dead bang locked in as now. And they did it with $100,000. Keep in mind, they have hundreds of millions of dollars in a private trust that they want to move over. It's possible that they could do that, but not for sure yet. They had set this up a year and a, almost a year and a half ago, but they are seeding with $10 million. Now, this is still a small amount to them, but it is a hundred times what they spent before when they had a uh, hundred thousand dollars. So now they're, they're basically beefing it up, getting ready for that ETF approval. Now, the reason I say BlackRock said screw it is basically because they're not waiting to start to seed this stuff. They are just going ahead and putting millions and millions of dollars. They even, like I said, they even put hundreds of millions of dollars in a private trust to buy Bitcoin. They're not waiting for the SEC. They're pouncing on this. They are hungry for more Bitcoin. We also have news. The Central Bank of Nigeria is lifting the banking ban on virtual asset service providers that's been in place since February 2021. Bitcoin now has a much clearer path forward in a country of 220 million. Now, this is helpful, right? Just lifting bans. Uh, obviously, banks have a lot of pull. They have a lot of sway in governments because they make a lot of money. They do a lot of lobbying. So the fact that they are lifting it is helpful. Now, that didn't really stop a lot of people from using crypto anyways, but it just makes a clearer path forward so people don't have to do it like in secrecy. And if they, if the banks start getting in on it, like if they start custody, custodying assets for people, I think some people would do that. And 
it just makes it even easier. They're going to start advertising, just like we're seeing in the U.S. with big institutions start to, starting to advertise. Everyone is going to want a piece of this model. Now, I'm not sure I would trust the banks to necessarily custody your Bitcoin, but it's always an option. Now, why is this so important? Nigeria is huge. They're growing quickly. And a lot of people might think of them just as another country, just like added to the list, El Salvador, Argentina, Nigeria, you know, a lot of people don't realize how big some of these countries are. Like I said, Nigeria is quickly growing and pretty large, like 213 million as of 2021. And look at this growth rate. It's growing a lot quicker. Take a look at this. This is Nigeria's growth rate, 2.4% annually. You might be saying, saying that's not that much, 2.4%. I mean, inflation's higher than that. But, but you have to remember, growth rates move slower than inflation. Take a look. This is the U.S., 0.1%. We've been slowly going down. We haven't ever been, at least on this chart, from like 1960, we haven't been above 2%. We were at 1%, then we dove below 1% and about 2,000. We're at 0.1%. People aren't having kids here. People are having kids in Nigeria. So the government or the um, the economy is growing quite quickly. You can see that here. 440 billion US dollars. I mean, take a look at this since 2000. Like don't don't curve. Is that how you say it? <laughs> don't don't think that just because it's another country that's unimportant. This is important. Nigeria grows very quickly. They're at 60 billion in GDP in 2000. And then 10 years later, they were at 400 billion. That's nuts. Six and a half X in 10 years. And since then, they're still at 440 billion. So Nigeria is huge for cryptocurrency. If they start to adopt even more. Now, keep in mind, they already are adopting, um, which I'll show you in a second. But take a look at GDP. This is about the same as Argentina's, which Argentina, we know, is possibly adding Bitcoin at some point to uh, their their accepted currencies. They also talked about settling contracts in Bitcoin already. They already approved that. Now, this is much smaller than the US GDP still. I mean, look at this, 23.3 trillion. It's almost 50 times bigger than these two countries. So keep in mind, you know, we are kind of US centric on this channel. Part of that is because a lot of viewers are in the US because I'm English speaking, but also part of it is because we, you know, the GDP is much higher. But keep in mind, having millions of people come over to Bitcoin, no matter how small the amount that they hold, it's massive. It makes the it makes the entire network much stronger. So don't fade new countries getting into crypto, no matter where they are, you know, we, we want more adoption. We want more use cases. We want more people building and using. They also love cryptocurrency. Now, part of that is because they do have high inflation. They say Nigeria's volume of crypto transactions grew 9% year over year. This is from a couple months ago uh, to 56.7 billion between July 2022 and June 2023. In Uganda, crypto use is smaller but growing fast, rising 245%. In Nigeria, interest in Bitcoin and stablecoins, cryptos, tokens, whose monetary value is pegged to a stable asset to protect from wild volatility, increased when the Naira's value plunged, particularly during the extreme drops in June and July of 2023. So why is that? Why do people want it? Well, like a lot of countries, the inflation rate is way too high. Nigeria in 2019 was 11.4% inflation, 2020, 1325 2021, 16.95, 2022, almost 19%. And then take a look at this. It's gotten worse, 28%. And it keeps on rising. It rose up another percent just from the month before. So that is why people want stable coins. That's why people want crypto in general. A lot of people like Bitcoin, but a lot of people just want something pegged to the US dollar that's easier um, to trade in, something that they can get access to. And we continue to see market caps go up, right? I mean, some of it, like the tether market cap, some of the market cap going up is from stealing market cap from other participants. Some of it is people trying to get more USDT to buy crypto at some point in the future. Part of it is people in these countries that just want some kind of cryptocurrency, um, some kind of stable coin that's better than their own currency. 
you can see this the growth just over the last seven days we've grown what almost 500 million dollars we saw a huge print of what 100 million dollars or so no just 10 million uh 10 million in a few minutes um yesterday but over the last month i mean geez the demand for stable coins is nuts it's a great business model too but let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video of course always do your own due diligence hit subscribe to see future videos like this again every single country no matter where they are in the world i want them to be interested in cryptocurrency i want more adoption i want more users i want more network activity i want more transfer volume i want more fees paid to miners i want more people mining bitcoin in different countries i want more decentralization and that happens whenever someone opens up to the thought of having bitcoin or stable coins as a transaction um, as a way of transacting let me know your thoughts on this underneath the video though again pretty nice news from nigeria and pretty good news from blackrock too we're going to have some nice Buys coming up here soon. ETFs are going to swallow up some Bitcoin. ETFs are going to spend advertising money. So let's keep an eye on it. Thank you so much for watching. Again, check out the links to Marjex and to Blowfin. I will see you in the next video. Bye.